Hello and welcome! This is a video tutorial of desktop backup with handy backup software. Let's start and see how to backup desktop using an external hard drive. Open handy backup. Click new task on the toolbar. We have here three types of tasks. Select backup and click next. Here you have to choose files that you want to backup. For desktop backup there is already an option for choosing desktop. You just click user folders, then add, and then my desktop. All desktop files automatically appear in the list. OK. If you make a mistake you will be able to click remove and change files. Go next. Here you need to choose a place to save your backup. It can be wherever you want. USB, local hard drives, across a network, etc. We recommend not backing up your files to the same hard disk that Windows is installed on. It is better to back up to external drives. Let's choose USB, disk F. Next. In this window you see backup type. It is recommended to choose full size. It means that all data without exceptions will be backed up. However, if you want files to take up less space, you can choose other types, incremental and differential. To view descriptions of these types, mouse over them. After choice is done, click Next. This is an area of compression and encryption. You can compress the backup files if you wish to save space and reduce the time required for backup. Files will be saved in zip format, the most popular compression format among Windows users. Also, you are able to sec your chosen files by encrypting the backup data with password. We will skip this option. Next. After clicking Next, you can enable Scheduler and choose certain time when you want handy backup to start backing up desktop and how often to repeat every day, on weekdays, and so on. Also, you can create your own custom dates. For example, we want to back up desktop only on Fridays. So we choose on weekdays and Friday. Done. Go next. If you want to choose applications to run before or after backup, you can do it here. We will skip this option too. Go next. And this is the last window which gives the summary of the task. We can see that we want to back up my desktop to disk F. Everything's alright. And also you can type a name for a task. Let's call it desktop backup on Friday. OK. And if anything wrong, you can always go back and correct. To start backup, click Finish. In this uh, window, we can see the progress. If you didn't use the encryption option, you can easily view the files directly from the hard drive. Since the data is saved in native format, you can view backed up files even without restoration. And now we will check the files, we see success. So to make sure that desktop backup is done successfully, we will go to chosen backup destination. As you remember, I put it on my F drive. So we go to my computer, F drive, and here we see the folder named desktop backup on Friday. And here are all the desktop files. Finished. Uh, I hope this video was useful for you. Goodbye.